Yes. We're back. At Louis Bass Corner. And we escaped unscathed from the sheep dip this year. We did. No chef for us. We should have some Basque food while we're staying here. I agree. I'm going to skip the lamb. You really shouldn't eat your cousin. No. And we'd like to welcome everybody to the first pilot episode of Uncorked with Sean and Bibi here at Louis Bass Corner. And look what we have. We have a little plaque to put. Where should we put it? I think we should put it on a bar stool, which is where That's we are favorite. most comfortable. That's our favorite place to set. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Uncourt with Sean and BB and some of the most interesting people we know. We are going to interview a lot of people, and uh, they have to be on a scale of eight of interesting. So we might just be interviewing each other. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, we are kind of interesting, but I bet we can find some new people to talk to. And today, we're at Louis Bass Corner, where we're going to learn about Louis and pecans and calimochos. Comes Brian Alcano now with our drinks. Hi, girls. Hello. Hi, Brian. Now, Brian, you got to tell me, you went into the restaurant business because your best skill set is staying around the bar talking with your friends and drinking? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Right, boys? Yeah! yeah. Well, that's one of my favorite parts of the job. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job to have. Now, I, you've done a big remodel here, and it's gone over very well, and apparently you have more things coming. Yeah, actually, we're going upstairs, and uh, we're putting it in another bar in a dining room and uh, trying to make this experience a little bit better. Just another place for you to hang out, to drink with your friends? Yeah, that's bar. right. That's right. Pool <laughs> table, shuffleboard. It's going to be fun. Oh, my gosh. That'll be a great experience. Absolutely. So how long have you had this place? Uh, two years now. It's been an incredible experience. We've been coming here for a year straight, almost every Friday. We've had a, the greatest time. Thank so you. So cheers to you. Good. Cheers. Cheers. And everybody. we'll be right back with Uncorked <laughs> with Sean and Bibi. My first week, I believe I dropped uh, almost 10 pounds in that very first week. On the very first week, I lost five pounds. And I thought, wow. Before I knew it, I was leaving, losing like four pounds a week, five pounds a week. And then all of a sudden, I was at 30 pounds. and. But then it was just, it was golden after that. I feel a lot healthier, skinnier, prettier. My self-confidence has boomed up the roof, I swear. Lose 20, 40, or 60 pounds for only $49 per week. They brought us some pretty jewelry it to wear, Sean. Yes. This is what I get to wear. You know, I guess this is some um, Isha, Ala you know, if you can't say it, it must be really good. I think it's, e uh, it's Isha, Isha Ilafi. Ilafi. Isha yes, Ilafi. Okay. yes. It's unique. It's one of a kind. This, no one has anywhere else in the world except what's on me right now. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, the stones are juicy crystals. Yeah? This is how a stone looks after years of water flowing over it. Yeah, well, this is how a face looks after years of champagne flowing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think this is prettier. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, what are you wearing? You're wearing Firefly design. Yes, I have, I have the Firefly design. And, and it says Swar Swar Swarovski Swar crystals. I know Swar it's really hard for you to Swar say. But like I said, if you can't pronounce it, it's really good jewelry. Swore off. I, oh, I, I don't think I've ever sworn off anything. No, no that's true. You, you can't swear off anything. Now, I guess I, Natasha travels all over the world because it's Natasha's world jewelry. And I think this is a front for her to just be able to travel all over the world and get paid for it. Well, isn't the show just a She's front for us dumb. to sit around and just drink all day? Yeah, well, cheers to her for being smart I love enough Natasha. to do that. Smartest mm -hmm. girl in the world. Mm -hmm. By the way, we didn't talk about your beads. Well, they come from the Czech Republic and from Japan. Oh, excellent. And don't you speak Russian? Yes. <laughs> Dratsuvici. Does that mean cheers to us? <laughs> cheers to and us. Cheers to Natasha once again. You know what? I like this a lot. It's beautiful. It, well, it would actually photograph very well. It would photograph very well. And you could do it in a casual event or a, or a fancy schmancy one. Yeah. And speaking of photographing very well, maybe you should learn how to take pictures better. Because everyone you take of me is a thousand miles away and you wouldn't be able to see the jewelry, nor my face. I don't like how you do that. Just saying. You know, I have seen the close-up shots of you and you look much better from far away. I'm just saying. Oh my. Okay, let's just go back to Natasha now. 
Now, yeah. apparently, so we can get this jewelry. Um, her store is near Trader Joe's, right? Yeah, it's right next to Trader Joe's and that butt cake place. Yes. And, and our favorite cobblers. Yes. We have several events coming up that we need to actually um, get some jewelry for to match the dresses that we oh, have Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. So what else is coming up? JDRF is coming up. Blue tie ball. This is perfect for the blue tie ball. You know who we need to talk to about this? Yeah. Robin Mercer, Robin Mercer. the philanthropic queen of Reno. Thanks, Sean and BB. Now that you have that great bling from Natasha's Royal Jewelry, I can tell you where to wear it. A View to a Cure is the theme of this year's JDRF annual gala. It's held on April 27th at the Reno Ballroom in downtown Reno. Dedicated to finding a cure for type 1 diabetes, this event is honoring the Carano family with co-chairs John and Elaine Frankovich and Dr. Costa and Julie Arger. Reno Gazette Journal deemed this the it event of the year. So Bibi and Sean, whether you prefer it shaken or stirred, make sure your gown is sophisticated and sexy like the true Bond girls you are. William Furs has beautiful new inventory in their 5,000 square foot showroom. Thousands of designer furs, leather and accessories for men and women, hundreds of vests to choose from, and everything is on sale now 30 to 50 percent. When only the best will do, William Furs for the ultimate shopping experience. 3370 Lakeside Court, Reno. Hi, I'm Leslie Henderson, Reno's short sale doctor. What is a short sale, you might ask? Well, that's any time that you owe more on your home than the current market value. If you have a successful short sale, your bank is willing to take current market value as the sale price for your home right off the difference and allow you, the homeowner, to walk away at zero. If you or someone you know is in this situation, please give me a call, Leslie Henderson, the short sale doctor, at 775-815-9511 and we'll discuss your options. to talk to Leslie Henderson, the short sale doctor. And we brought our short house because we need her to sell that for us. You guys, it is short. I know. really, you're so silly. What? what? Short sale's not about our short house. That's the real house we're selling. Oh, oh great. The short thing's oh. about the money. There's not enough money to oh. go around. So oh, it's not short like sale. Money. So you're not talking monopoly money? It's No, short we're money. talking like the house needs to be, you know, paid off to the bank for 300000 and there's only 200,000 in value. Oh. It's a bad problem in Reno right now. A lot of people are upside down on their house. So if you throw the house upside down, the money all fell out the, the, the windows. That's kind of the situation with the short sale. So how do you fix it, Doc? Um, well, we have to negotiate with the bank. And short sale definition basically means that the bank is willing to take market value for the house, regardless of what is owed. Oh. So. If the homeowner owes 500000 and the house is worth three, the bank will take three. They will um, basically release the homeowner from the debt. So they're going to give them a short sale approval letter that says we're accepting the proceeds of the sale as paid in full and you're free to go. And they don't track the homeowner down. They don't file judgments against them. They don't harass them. They, it's a release. It's a full release of debt. She explains right. that very well. She does. In much, small words. So much, much better them. than I've ever, ever known. <laughs> you got to listen to the doctor. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> because it, it doesn't, it's not a short amount of time either, right? No, like, well, it can be. I have had them approved in as little as 12 days. So they can oh, be. Wow. Okay. Depends on the circumstances. Okay. In that situation, the seller was deceased. So obviously the bank's not going to get any money from them. So they said, okay, great. Um, in other situations, it can take four to six months, depending on the seller's financial situation. Okay. So it's a, it's a multi-step process. The first step is um, for the real estate agent or the short sale doctor to put the house on the market for current market value. And current market value should be as close to what it might appraise for as the agent can come up with. Okay. And um, then a buyer comes along and they make an offer on the house and we send the offer and the corresponding documents, uh, settlement statement from the title company to the bank to show them what they net in the sale. And um, the bank does pay all the closing costs, so it costs nothing to the homeowner. It's a free service to have the short sale doctor help you out of this upside down short wow. house. 
Yeah. Is that mostly the sales that are going on right now? Are they it's short sales mostly? The majority of them, yes. Okay. And uh, the Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Relief Act is a bill that got extended through the end of December 2013, which allows that homeowner also to be forgiven any tax consequences of the bad debt. Oh, okay. Because well, if you're not forgiven deal. the tax consequence, you maybe walk away from $100,000 of bad debt on your house, but the IRS will say you owe tax on that money. So it's a big deal to get that house sold, all the upside down short houses by the end of 2013. Okay, yeah. great. Well, thank you so much. You're and welcome. We'll be right back with Uncorked with Sean and Beebe. My first week, I believe I dropped uh, almost 10 pounds in that very first week. On the very first week, I lost five pounds and I thought, wow. Before I knew it, I was leaving, losing like four pounds a week, five pounds a week. And then all of a sudden I was at 30 pounds and that then it was just, it was golden after that. I feel a lot healthier, skinnier, prettier. My self-confidence has boomed up the roof, I swear. Lose 20, 40, or 60 pounds for only $49 per week. Now we can buy a house. I think we could, but I think you're supposed to know more about business, like interest rates, Okay, let's just face it, I'm not good at math. No, that's But true. I don't really understand interest rates, do you? I think 0% is really good. 0%? Oh, I, oh, I know about zeros. Zero times, like $200,000 house means you pay? Nothing. Okay, that doesn't that's sound right. That's a free right. house. I, I think we need a professional helper. Jenna, come help come us. Have Sean's right not here. very smart. <laughs> what can I do for you? You can explain how she cannot buy a house with 0% down. This is Jenna Nolte. Or, She's a senior loan advisor of Academy Mortgage, and she's smarter than we are. <laughs> well, what is it that you want to know? Have you bought a house in the last two, three years? Do no, you own now? I have. Okay. But I don't know if I pay too much. What are interest rates? Interest rates right now, without quoting APRs, that type of thing, are in the low threes. Well, that's pretty If nice. you are going to own or occupy it, and that means you can live in it. Now, if you're doing it as an investment like you, probably would do. Then you're in the low fours, high threes. She thinks I'm smart. I know. She, yes, she, you she are very you smart. Money. <laughs> <laughs> do you? No, no I have an ex-husband and two kids. Well, that can work. No money. And their kids aren't very smart. But um, <laughs> anyway, I, enough of that. Are you related to Nick Nolte? Yes, I am. You've got to be kidding me. How he, does that work? He's a second cousin once removed. I think they're the same eyes. I'm just saying. Same nose, too, but I'm feminine. <laughs> <laughs> She's also a party planner. I know. What's up with that? I just love to cook and have people into my homes. And uh, also, I, you know, when we have parties at Academy Mortgage, I'll help out and do a lot of the cooking and, you know, throw a big party for everybody. And I like doing things that are outside the norm. I love to cook Peruvian, Irish, um, French cooking. Um, just about name it. If you have a recipe, I like to try to make it my own. Wow, okay. That's now, now back to the mortgages, because I, I know we're here to talk about that. Now, if I lost my house, and I, which I could never do because I'm really responsible, but if I did, how would I go about getting another home? There's a hard, fast rule, depending on the type of mortgage, that you really do need to wait three years if you lost it in a short sale um, or a foreclosure. And you need to make sure that you do improve your credit, in which a good loan officer, like me, can usually set you up for down the road of getting to that stage, you know, giving you some good advice, which you should never pay for. That is huge. Do not pay for advice that should be given freely. Um, we make sure your credit's there. You can get in from anywhere from 0% down to 3.5% down. Um, if you haven't lost a home, uh, there are huge programs out there to help you. And if you've not owned a home in the last three years, you can get in sometimes with help from the government. Okay. Now, talking about the free advice, we give free advice all the time, don't we? Yeah, and you give really bad advice. No one takes it. I don't oh, understand. Well, that's because you give bad advice, Sean. I'm well, w when giving advice, you just give people options. This is what's going to happen if you do it this way. This is what's going to happen if you do it that way. Your choice. Great. Yeah. Well, thank That's you so much for coming on with us today. We really appreciate having you here. And thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. Great having Nick Nolte, uh, Jenna Nolte from Academy Mortgage on today. We learned a lot, I think. 
I think I might have learned a little something. I don't something. think you did. I think I did. You know, I was a little distracted, though, because the pants you're wearing today. Oh, my pants. These are my newest loudmouth find. They're called Old Glory. Was and I think a, you should salute me. Yeah. Was that a model pirouette? Because mm -hmm. the only thing I know is you have a lot of experience with poles in your past. Ooh. I'd like to run you up you know, one right now. That's a different show altogether. <laughs> Why don't we just take this to our interview with Alan Wallace, the vice president of Loudmouth Golf, and not talk about my past? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us. And we're proud to present Alan Wallace, Loudmouth Golf. And they don't just do golf, they do all kinds of ski wear. And we're lucky enough to have them here after about six months from the last time we saw him. You guys have much. more than golf and ski wear, too. You guys have a lot of now, things coming down the line. I'm looking at this, bowling. Oh now, you, you do know about the Bowling Congress in Reno that we have here every year, right? Never knew about that. Every it's April? And for a couple of months, we have bowlers come in. We have a huge bowling stadium that was built just for bowlers. And, and I'll be How banged. cute is this? Just for Reno, people. Yep. We just came out with um, a, putter, a putter grip in three, four of our better patterns. And the golf bags. Golf bags oh, just, less than just came out. For golf bags. Those are cheap for golf bags. Very, I mean, in, very inexpensive, price right, <laughs> yes. to sell a lot. This <laughs> is one. This is one of the... Um, this lightning one. This is a really lightning popular bolt. pattern. I yep. see it a lot. Correct. That's Captain right. Thunderbolt. They have a name oh. for everything. I call it lightning. We have a name for everything. Shagadelic. Shagadelic. Uh, Key, uh, West. Key West. Angry, Angry Birds. Birds. No Oak I call that honeycomb, but I don't know what you call this. <laughs> Atababe. What is it? Atababe. Atababe. Well, you know what else they do? They do um, college logos. So they do this if you're um, Oklahoma State University and they have a little OSU or something on there. Right. right. You get the right colors. I made a snark because I'm from the University of Oklahoma. And we don't like that. School. I bought their Cowboys pants, but I bought Dallas them Cowboys. special without the Cowboys logo so I could wear them for Nevada Wolfpack. So that's perfect. Yeah, it yeah. works out perfect. You can wear so many different colors that you can do use for every. Our collegiate every business is growing. Yeah, we've yeah, got really about is. 25 schools, be. probably another 20, 25 within the next few months. Well, yeah, we, right in time for bowl season. So, BB and I are very soft. No, right after bowl season, oh, we don't, we yeah. we, yeah. we try to get in right after we need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like when the first year we did ski Time pants. Timing is everything. <laughs> the first year we did snow pants. Perfect. December 21st, they hit the warehouse. It's okay. It didn't Came even in snow a little here bit last late. year. It didn't even snow. So but, um, but now we own them, so we're fine there. Hey, cheers to that, yeah. you know? Yeah. We're, just, we're just that normal company out there doing a lot of business. I like it. I like it. You guys have grown a lot in the last few years. And it's so wonderful. When you order online, it comes like lickety split. Yes. It's wonderful. It really does. They come in within two days. Very good customer yeah. service. Yeah. We do wind shirts in solid colors and 15 different patterns. Oh. Sleeveless, they... long sleeve, very cool. And hey. Every color. Even Every for size. the guy that doesn't wear a loudmouth short or pant can wear the loudmouth pattern wind shirts. And you have solid golf shirts as well. If people want to wear just a loudmouth logo. And crazy golf shirts for the guys oh. that want and solid blazers. pants. And blazers. Yeah. And blazers. Sport coats, correct, for okay. men or women. So if you want to go, it's loudmouthgolf.com. Look it up. Check it out. Check us out on YouTube. Order. Oh, and the show's on YouTube. YouTube. And Court on with court on YouTube. Sean and BB with a smile. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome to Natasha's World, a jewelry gallery like no other. We've searched the world to bring you stunningly crafted jewelry by renowned designers Isha Alafi, Alaya Bar, Mishu, Mariana, Zalandia Designs, and the Firefly Collection. Visit Natasha's World Jewelry today for all your jewelry desires, like custom designs, repair and sizing, and the buying of your old unwanted gold. Stylish, exotic, and beautifully affordable. Natasha's World Jewelry, next to Trader Joe's in the Smithridge Plaza. William Furs has beautiful new inventory in their 5,000 square foot showroom. Thousands of designer furs, leather, and accessories for men and women. Hundreds of vests to choose from. And everything is on sale now 30 to 50%. When only the best will do, William Furs for the ultimate shopping experience. 3370 Lakeside Court, Reno. Hey, peeps, 
You know, we've been coming to Louis Bass Corner for a long time, and today I just learned they actually have food here, too. Oh my God, they have food? I've <laughs> always smelled something good, but I just thought it was me. Well, we're lucky to have uh, Amy from Transformations today, Hi, and we're going to talk about paleo and non-paleo food items because uh, she is the queen of the paleo diet. The paleo is good. So we have quite a bit of food in front of us today. Now, can I eat all of it? If I'm on the paleo diet? If you're on paleo maintenance, you can eat almost all of it. Oh, is but that right? But if you're on paleo for quick weight loss, there's a few items I would avoid. All right. I would avoid the zucchini. Whoa, 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 let's play a game. Okay. Let's see how smart we are on paleo. Oh, okay. We'll say if you point at food and we'll say if it's paleo oh, I like or not this paleo. Game. This is good. <laughs> you girls should know this by now, right? <laughs> We've been going long enough. <laughs> okay, how about let's start with this. Is this paleo or not paleo? Now, is that fried zucchini? That is. I would say not paleo. I say zucchini is paleo. Uh, we say we wish it was all paleo, but the zucchini is great, but the fried part would make it not paleo. Oh, I win. I'm going to win chicken dinner. Oh, I can have chicken dinner. <laughs> Speaking of chicken. <laughs> yes, chicken. So right here, this is a great dish. That looks you can great. definitely have this if you avoid the bun. So you are right. Chicken would be paleo. Yay for me. Yay. <laughs> How about the potatoes? Oh, yeah, fries. garlic fries. They look really good. Garlic Will you tell me what you video. girls think? What do you think? It has uh, garlic. There's a vegetable. Garlic's good for you. What do you think? Again, <laughs> <laughs> very tasty treat, but not, not paleo. paleo. That's right. You girls win. Not paleo. That's right. Sweetbreads, which is a very Basque food. How about mm -hmm. sweetbreads? What I I say, uh, paleo. paleo. It's paleo. It's Absolutely. Meat -meat. Okay. Um, beans. Beans are really good for you. What about these beans? Beans are good for you, however, they have a high fat content, and so we want to avoid those. So, so those would be paleo. not paleo. But you know what looks good in there is that sausage, and that's paleo. paleo. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Lamb chops? Definitely paleo. 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 Mm -hmm. Those are and really a salad. good. And well, there's that's always a tough a one. salad, right? Yeah. Now here at Louis Bass Corner, they do serve the salad with Parmesan cheese chunks, and um, we always have to ask for it without the cheese. But uh, it's a wonderful salad. Is not paleo. Not paleo. Not paleo. However, it's really good to always ask for your dressing on the side as well, too. So it's a good little thing to ask for things on the side because you can still get a lot of foods here at the restaurant and that are totally paleo. Great. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome. And let's not forget during the time when we're eating all this great paleo food that we can also have alcoholic beverages. Yay. Which is what's kept us on the diet this whole time. We, That's we right. have alcohol in front of us. So you can have vodka. What are you drinking? I'm drinking red wine. And, and you? It's a light tequila. Yay! <laughs> if you want good. to know more about transformations, we suggest you um, check them out and call Amy. And I will attest to it, I lost a ton of weight on this diet. She has because everybody says she was a heifer before. <laughs> <laughs> and on that happy note, we're going to take a little break and we'll come back with more drinking at Louis Bass Corner with Uncorked with Sean and Beebe. Welcome to Natasha's World, a jewelry gallery like no other. We've searched the world to bring you stunningly crafted jewelry by renowned designers Isha Alafi, Alaya Bar, Mishu, Mariana, Zalandia Designs, and the Firefly Collection. Visit Natasha's World Jewelry today for all your jewelry desires, like custom designs, repair and sizing, and the buying of your old unwanted gold. Stylish, exotic, and beautifully affordable. Natasha's World Jewelry, next to Trader Joe's in the Smithridge Plaza. Hi, I'm Leslie Henderson, Reno's short sale doctor. What is a short sale, you might ask? Well, that's any time that you owe more on your home than the current market value. If you have a successful short sale, your bank is willing to take current market value as the sale price for your home right off the difference and allow you, the homeowner, to walk away at zero. If you or someone you know is in this situation, please give me a call, Leslie Henderson, the short sale doctor, at 775-815-9511 and we'll discuss your options. Okay, so we've talked about the paleo food, but we are at a Basque restaurant, so we obviously have to talk about drinking. And Beeps, I know you've been drinking Basque drinks your whole life, but it doesn't make you Basque. I know you think you are. Brian, I think you need to explain to us what Basque drinks are. All right, I will. Um, well, first we'll start off with the traditional pecan punch, which 
is one of our most potent drinks. Does it have pecans <laughs> um, in it? It does not have pecans. It's actually a liquor that is based off a tree root. It was made by uh, the French army back in 1800s. So that's where pecan actually comes from. A lot of people don't actually know that. Um, the second thing that's a little bit lighter is a Cali Mocho, which uh, is Diet Coke and red wine for the girls, but lots of guys <laughs> drink it with Coke too. Um, you can have it either way. Both ways taste pretty good. It's pretty much the wine that you taste anyway. Oh, yeah. So, Okay, and then the last thing we have is a dessert drink, which is called a Corrente Tres, or 43. Wow, it's and, beautiful. And uh, it's like a party in your mouth. It's like vanilla ice cream. This is not paleo. <laughs> oh my god, it really is like a party in my mouth. <laughs> At least it's with a drink this time. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't know how you're getting home, but I'm going to find a way home pretty soon. But we have to be really careful because we've had a lot to drink today. Yes, we don't drink and drive, and we don't text and drive, and we can't even walk. <laughs> and I don't want to have happened today what happened before. Yeah. That wasn't good. How are we going to get home, Sean? I don't know. But I, look at this I, bus schedule. I just don't understand it. I've never been on the bus before, and these numbers, there's too many numbers. I don't this understand. This is like a bad dream. I know. I, I, there's a limo right over here. Where? It's coming up. <gasps> that, that's a good dream. Yes. Take it. Just get in. Hey. Hi. <laughs> well, that was scary. I know. Oh, my God. But you look fabulous. Well, thank you. I am wearing a sheared beaver and crystal fox jacket from our friend William over oh, at Williams Fur. He's wonderful. And I have on a black fox shawl, as a matter of fact. It is very pitiful. Yes, it I is. I like it. We had a really good time, though, shopping at Christmas for our friends at Williams. Yeah, he has so many accessories. He has the hats, and he has the, the uh, boot covers. And the gloves and you got your mother. Leather gloves with the fur around them. And there's so many things there that to, he has such great sales that you could find something for your husband and your boyfriend. OK, on that happy note, <laughs> I would like to say that he can also store your furs for the summer, because summer is someday coming. Yeah, and it's a pleasure to go in there. Um, you can sit, he has a little bar there with wine, and he's a great host. And, and if you tear something, they can fix it right on site. They have that great seamstress. They do, and uh, she's there 24-7. You know what? Sometimes when we have a couple hours to kill, we go in there and we just try on furs, and then we feel really bad when we don't buy them. It's a big showroom, I it know. Really we, we do get to try on quite a few things. I love they also it. have storage there, so I go there in the summers and I leave my fur for the storage. Yeah, and they clean them. It's a great place, and we will recommend it to all our friends. Hello, BB and Sean, this is William. You should come and visit my store and see how beautiful things we have. And shop around and check here the handbags, the jackets, the leather, the wraps, the boots. Everything we have, it's very, very beautiful. And I saw your pictures. You look stunning and beautiful and the glamorous in your furs. You look great, girls. And don't think you are the only one. Drink champagne. I drink too here in the store. And this cheers for you. Thanks, William. And thanks to everybody who was on our show today. And we will see you next time. But in the meantime, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter under Uncourt Sean and Beebe. As well as Pinterest and YouTube. So have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. this up and um, we want to, oh uh, God, do it again. She doesn't like being called Pepper. Just, just like <laughs> Don't hit the wind, baby. All right. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Keep going. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Not snowing anymore. Blame it on alcohol. <laughs>